Hey guys, hope you're doing good. So I just had to jump on the couch and take a break from work to make this video. So I shared something pretty important on my story on Instagram. If you're not following me, you should be following me on Instagram. I said that you should let your phone die the night before. You should stop charging your phone the night before and it will change your life. And here is why. And I'll give you context on my Friday night, okay? So Friday night, I don't know what I did for the day, but my battery was almost dead. And what I decided to do is instead of charge my phone, I actually just left it in the living room here and I let it die. I actually think it died before I went to bed. And instead of charging it, I just left it here and I just went to bed. And when I woke up with a tendency to want to check your phone, well, I did want to come and check my phone, but you know what happened? The phone was dead and I didn't feel like charging it. I'm like, I'm not that addicted to my phone to wait to have it charged and then to open it. No, I'm not that addicted. So what that created is it created space for me to think, to be like, oh, what is something else that I could be doing with my time this morning? I didn't get anything hitting my mind with, like, I didn't let the world into my, my work so I could control what I could focus on. The issue with most people who check their phone first thing in the morning is that even if you had a plan, it's like you're getting hit in the face. It's almost like everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face. You're literally getting punched by naked girls on Instagram. You're getting punched by new sales calls being booked for their business. Or you're getting punched by a client asking for a refund. Or you're getting punched by an ad campaign pay not working. I'm not saying that those things shouldn't be paid attention to, but you should not pay attention to them first thing in the morning. Your morning should be allocated to producing the thing that's going to change your life. Even if you look at my current living room, there's no TV, right? I only have that um, that projector that projects on this thing. And the reason why I'm now living in a penthouse is because every morning, I don't let anything take over my mornings. I control my mornings. The first two hours of the day, I do the thing that's gonna change my life. And you know what that is? Build sales letters, focus on the priority for my 25, 30 member team, focus on what I need to get better at, learning. That's it. If I take care of writing, marketing, priority for the team, and I learn something new that I'm gonna use to help my clients, and I do that for from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I do that for a year. I do that for two years. I do that for three years. You end up with a life that you couldn't even fathom. But most people don't understand how important it is to control your mind and the thing that come into your mind and into your life. If you have negative people, add friction to those negative people. If you know that you're addicted to drinking alcohol, add friction to drinking alcohol. If you know that there are specific groups of friends that you end up drinking with the most or smoking weed with the most, stop hanging with them. If you live in a bad neighborhood, if you live in a bad country, add friction and move. For me, the, like all the bad habits that I know that I have, it's hard for me to even get started with those habits because I've added so much friction into my life. I highly suggest you guys control your mind and your time for the first two hours of your day don't let anything own your life because if you do not own the first two hours of your life of your day trust me the outcome of your life the life you're currently living is controlled by someone else it's controlled by the inputs from social media the people you follow the people faking their lifestyle who are buying renting cars and you think that they're they're who you should be listening to no they're not getting the nice things does not come from you can fake it till you make it but you can i genuinely learn something that's important for someone else and help them achieve their outcome their desired outcome yeah create space for me Every, every night, I'm not gonna charge my phone. And if it's charged, I'm just gonna live it in the living room. And, and yeah, that Saturday morning, I ended up creating so much work. Like within the first three hours, I built so much that I actually felt good from working. It felt so amazing to have worked that Saturday morning. But I promise you that if I had checked my phone and gotten the inputs from my Discord community, from my clients, uh, from Instagram, from all these hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of DMs going on on my profiles. I, I don't know if I would have, it would have been too much for my brain to take in all at once, right? We're in an information age where there's overload of information. So our brain is not used to taking in this much input. It's like what happens when you add so much going on in a computer? Well, it freezes. That's what's happening for most people in society every morning that they wake up and look at their phone. You guys are literally freezing your minds with all this input and you're literally being stuck like, oh my God, what should I do? And then you end up not doing anything. The biggest thing advice that I could do is create space for you, for your team, and focus. Focus on the main thing, okay? Uh, May 28th, I'm hosting a webinar on how we're going to be scaling the hundreds. So if you're struggling with your offer, scaling past 50K, 100K, a quarter of a million per month in revenue, uh, I'm going to be sharing how we're going to be doing it and how we've done it for ourselves. And uh, all you have to do is just click the link below and apply or join the Facebook group because I'm going to be hosting the 
the webinar in there. And if you're seeing this months and months after it happened, then you can also click the link and join the Facebook group and we will leave uh, the training there. So I'm excited to host this webby. It's gonna be good, bye-bye. Hey, so just wanted to take a moment to thank you for having watched this video and to remind you of something really, really important. And that is the fact that you deserve more, you deserve better. And most importantly, you owe it to yourself to be great, okay? I want you to always remember that. Always, always, and never forget it. Because it is a thing that has changed my life when I realized or when I actually just made the decision that I deserved to be great and it was my duty to become great because not only did my life become better but everyone's life in my life became better. So find this helpful and keep coming back for more bangers because I won't stop dropping them. Bye-bye.